at Walmart on this rainy day. That's just a dedication of a couponer. Let me just take a few moments to show you the coupons that I'm about to go in store to use. Hopefully all the items are available. Everyone, I've made it back home here with my Walmart haul here. Um, I would consider this extreme couponing since I got 10 packs of hauls and I got 6 packs of these waters. Let me just go over the prices with you. This um, 12 pack of water, 8 ounce bottles was priced at $1.98. I had a dollar off two coupon and I bought six of those so I had three coupons, three of the same coupons. This Stouffer's Mac and Cheese, it was priced at $5.97. Now um, this was the cheapest family size item that I can find. They did have the lasagna at $6.98, which I really did want the lasagna. However, I just decided to get the cheapest item, but still within the means of the uh, coupon. The And I had a dollar off coupon on that Stouffer's. The uh, Sunbelt granola, it was priced at $2.38. And I had a 75 cents off coupon on it. These hauls, they were priced at 164 and I had a dollar off of two. And I got 10 bags of those, so I had five coupons. And that's what I mean by extreme couponing. Um, you have an unlimited amount of coupons and there's no restriction on the coupons such as limit of four so I just bought as many items as I could with the number of coupons that I had and I only had five so I must say that I'm stocked up on the winter as far as cough drops are concerned so I probably won't have to buy any more for pretty sure the end of this year uh, on over into next year around uh, January and February Here's a look at my receipt. Now, I do want to say that those um, coupons for the water, they beeped for whatever reason. They didn't go through, but the manager did allow for them to um, be pushed through because, you know, the coupon and, and the product did match each other. So, um,. I don't know if you can see that, but they did, um, there it is. They did push that, um, coupon through there for the water and where it says vendor. No, that's for the halls. But anyway, they did, um, push the coupon through for water for the waters, um, a dollar coupon through on those and then you'll see the dollar cough drop coupons coming off and uh, my total spent was $31.49 uh, you know do I think that that's a fair price for what I got I think it could have been a little bit cheaper but you know that's how it goes sometimes in the coupon world now I did have two other items that I wanted to get the uh, high chew candy, which they only had um, one size of that. It was a big bag in the seasonal sh section for four dollars and ninety eight cents, and I just was not gonna pay uh, five dollars a bag and only save a dollar off of two. So that wasn't gonna work for me. I think they do have that candy in the Dollar Tree, so I'll probably stop by the Dollar Tree and get it for fifty cents. And then they also did not have the um, the um, the miniature um, corn dogs that I wanted 
from the fair so I think it's fairground that brand they were sold out and I'm pretty sure that's because there's a lot of um, Ibotta users going into Walmart and picking it up. They were priced at $3.98 and they had a $0.75 cents off coupon. So those were all sold out. There weren't any in the freezer. That's my Walmart haul, y'all. I appreciate you watching.